Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're comparing two of the best smartwatches slash fitness trackers, the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro and the brand new released Huawei Watch Fit 2. So let's go. Well guys, here we go. Here's the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro and here we have the Huawei Watch Fit 2. Now over the recent years, Huawei has released so many great variables, fitness trackers, smartwatches, so it's a little bit hard to understand the differences. Now there's a new one, the Huawei Watch Fit 2. And many of you guys have asked me, hey, can you do a video? Can you also compare it to the flagship product like um, the Huawei Watch 3 Pro or the GT3 Pro? And well guys, today we are doing it. I'll show you the differences and what you actually get with the new Huawei Watch Fit 2 and what has improved and how close it really comes to a full-fledged smartwatch like the GT3 Pro. So let's go and let's do some comparison. Well guys, let's get started with the obvious things and this is the design. So the Huawei Watch Fit 2 comes in this rectangular design. Now um, the shape is pretty much like a smartphone screen, so it's kind of nice to have this smaller kind of smartphone screen on your wrist. While um, the GT3 Pro, for instance, all the circular Huawei watches, they come in this circular design, also really beautiful display. Um, we have here the 46 millimeter version of um, the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro titanium version. Now, um, if you compare the weight, so um, there's a huge difference if you may want to get the Watch Fit 2 if you like um, slim and light fitness trackers. The Watch Fit 2 weighs only the active edition 26 grams without the strap, while um, the GT3 Pro weighs approximately 54 grams without the strap. So it's almost um, double of um, the weight and also the strap, while um, it's definitely much heavier than the Watch Fit 2. So if you really want to have a light um, fitness tracker that you can wear all day, the Watch Fit 2 is the way to go. Then let's talk about the screen. So on the GT3 Pro, we have a 1.43 inch AMOLED color screen, um, really beautiful screen. Then here on the Watch Fit 2, we have a 1.74 inch screen. So in a different form factor, but as you can see, it's a quite huge screen. Now, when we talk about the materials, well, it can get a little bit tricky, but the best thing is to go on the Huawei website and check out the specifications because there is an active edition of the Watch Fit 2 and a classic edition. Now the active edition comes with a polymer case front and back while the classic edition comes with an aluminium front and a polymer rear case. Um, while the um, GT3 Pro comes made out of titanium, basically everything sapphire glass. So it's a really premium smartwatch that's why you also have this price gap um, between the Watch Fit 2 and the GT3 Pro. But also um, the GT3 Pro offers some other more features, which we'll explain later on in this video. Now let's talk straps. So everyone wants to get from time to time a new strap, either to change the look of the smartwatch or if it just wears out, because those are basically also fitness trackers. Now on the Watch Fit 2, I really love this new system. So um, it's basically a Huawei proprietary system, but um, all you have to do is just press this button here. Oh yeah, now I got it. So with the nail, you press this little button and you can slide out here um, the strap. So this is the same on both sides and to reattach it, you just have to slide it back in. And this is really easy and simple to change um, the strap. Now on the um, GT3 Pro, it's a little bit more difficult. There's also a little tiny button to press here, but then there's a pin inside which you have to move out and then you can change the strap. So on the Titanium Edition, the Titanium band is really amazing. It's durable, um, it's beautiful, but um, for wireless charging, it's a bit tricky because you cannot fully open this up just like this, you know, and then in order to place it on a wireless charger, it can be a little bit tricky. I'm um, talking about wireless charging. Um, the GT3 Pro has a magnetic charger and um, I'll show you it right over here. So it's this one. So you just attach it to the back. It attaches. It's yeah, super smooth. You can turn it in any direction. While the watch fit has a kind of different approach, they have also this magnetic connector. Here on the back, you just attach it and then you can charge it. Now, um, the watch fit 2 doesn't support wireless charging. So this is the only downside. You always have to to take this cable. Once you forget it, you cannot recharge your watch. But both have amazing battery life and we'll talk about that just in a second. For sure there's some differences in terms of specifications between the watches, but luckily both feature GPS, so you don't need to take your phone to track your route. The GPS performance on both is really good, has improved a lot over the original watch fit, and I've tested out the GPS performance and it's quite equal between the GT3 Pro and the Huawei Watch Fit 2. Also there's a difference between the versions, so um, the active 
edition doesn't support NFC, but the classic edition and the elegant edition of the Watch Fit 2, they um, have NFC support. But all of the Watch Fit 2 versions support um, Bluetooth 2.4, 5.2, BLE and all that stuff. Anyhow, um, NFC is also supported on the GT3 Pro, um, depends on the countries. Now what's new on the new Watch Fit 2 is that it supports a speaker and a microphone. So the speaker is also, um, you can listen to music, you can do calls with the smartwatch, but also if you use guided workouts, you get those instructions, which you can also listen to over the speaker, or you can just pair your headphones like the Huawei FreeBuds 4. Because we already talk about tracking, so both of them have the Huawei TrueScene 5.0 Plus sensor inside, so it's that huge thing on the back there which blinks in green and this is Huawei's most accurate sensor to date. So the heart rate monitoring, SpO2 monitoring, um, that all works really fine on both smartwatches. You get very similar results. I did some workouts with both watches, one on the left, one on the right, so there was a little bit of difference but it was like very minimal. Now I would say in terms of SpO2 heart rate um, tracking and all of that, um, both smartwatches perform almost equally. When it comes to the battery life, however, there's a difference. More space in the GT3 Pro, so that means bigger battery. So we have up to 14 days of typical usage. Uh, they say around eight days for heavy usage. Now, usually I charge it every 10 days, so which is pretty amazing. On the Watch Fit 2, we have a typical usage of 10 days, um, heavy usage seven days. Also, yeah, I charge it around about once a week. Of course, um, if you go for a GPS um, run, um, I tested it out on the GT3 Pro, for instance. Um, it was like one hour was dropping like 5%, so it was really, really amazing. In terms of battery life, both smartwatches are great performers. Of course, the controls are also different. So both a touchscreen, of course, but um, the GT3 Pro has this rotatable crown, which also acts as a button. I really love it. It's so smooth and so nice to um, scroll through the menu like this. And there's also a second button right over here, which has an electrode inside for the ECG function. Of course, you don't get an ECG function. I mean, the Huawei Watch Fit 2 um, is a really affordable budget fitness tracker. But if you really want to get some high-end tracking with ECG, then the GT3 Pro is the way to go. Anyhow, um, as you can see from um, the profile, um, they're almost the same thickness as you can see. Um, we have microphone and speaker right over here and uh, it really comes down to personal preference, um, which screens um, form factor you prefer. But well, now the key question, many people ask this. So both are waterproof. What is the actual difference? So um, there's a 5 ATM rating on the Watch Fit 2. There's a 5 ATM rating on the GT3 Pro, but an additional IP68 rating and up to 30 meter rating on the GT3 Pro. That means with the GT3 Pro, you can go even diving up to 30 meters, also seawater, as long as you rinse it after. And um, with um, the Watch Fit 2, yeah, you can do pool swimming and stuff like that but um, you should not do scuba diving or anything else because it will not withstand the pressure. Um, so if you really want to have a smartwatch for all kinds of things, if you go um, to a vacation and you go scuba diving and you want to have the watch with you, then the GT3 Pro is um, the way to go. But I tested it out in the pool, both smartwatches. There is really not a problem and also both of them have the water drain mode because both have a speaker to drain out the water from the speaker. So while well, let's have a closer look here at the smartwatches, let's check out how to use them and the user interface. Now if you swipe up from the bottom you actually get your notifications. Notifications now work really well. So you can also see the screen to body ratio now here um, how much is really filled on the Watch Fit 2 and it's really nice to read notifications on the Watch Fit 2 because it has such a long display so it's easy to read all the text if you open them up. Here on the circular one as you can see it uses a bit more um, wide but also here you can read everything pretty well. Now there are also quick replies you can set up in Huawei Health. Um, you cannot really write back with a keyboard or something like on other smartwatches, but this is so useless. I never use this on any other smartwatch anyhow. All right, then um, here we have the watch face. So I picked um, now on purpose two different watch faces to show you a little bit of the customizations because this is really what makes the new Harmony US watch faces amazing. If you tap them, you actually get here this settings button. And if you press it again, you can just tap on the symbols and then you can actually just change um, what they should do. So let's do it here again. So this is how it looks like. Now here you can customize almost everything. So we have here um, a button to call someone. If you don't use the call function, you can, for instance, replace it. You can replace it with um, start a workout and you can replace all those things, all those info displays, you can replace um, the quick button. So this gives you so much flexibility on how to quickly utilize your smartwatch. 
same on the um, GT3 Pro, so you can change it here to anything you want. If you, for instance, often use the ECG function, so yeah, now you can see the notifications, they are working really, really well. Um, if you, for instance, use an ECG function a lot, you can um, bind it to a button right over here. So you have plenty of quick buttons um, directly on um, the watch face, which is literally amazing. Now, if you swipe here through the menu, well, you get all your things like yeah, your current heart rate, because both of them support continuous heart rate monitoring. Then also SpO2 measurements, um, weather widget, your daily activity. Um, also here, the moon faces, the call logs, who has called you. So I've used the smartwatches now for quite a while and the notifications are really working good. So this is finally working really amazing. Now, in order to go to the main menu, you press the upper button here on the GT3 Pro or you press the side button on the Watch Fit 2 and you're here in the main menu. So while well, we went through this actually quite a few times around all the features but today I will just show you the differences because um, you have all the measurements you need on the Watch Fit 2 so you don't miss out anything even though it's a lot cheaper. Um, you have for instance sleep tracking as you can see right over here. Um, in order to go back, you just swipe here. You also have here the stress monitoring. Then um, you have a compass. You have also, where is it? I just need to find out ah, right over here. Um, the running ability index. This is something that got introduced with the Huawei Watch GT Runner. It's now also on the Watch Fit 2, which is pretty amazing. And um, we also have SpO2 right over here. So you can start to measure right over here with the quick toggle. You have here the heart rate monitoring, as you can see. Um, you have here the workouts. We have 97 workout modes on the Watch Fit 2. You have a couple of more workouts on the GT3 um, Pro series, but this is also because it supports, for instance, diving and stuff like that, because um, um, it has the IP68 rating. Of course, both smartwatches support sleep tracking. And here's something um, that's really at least more comfortable for me in the Watch Fit 2. And, um, this is sleep tracking because it's much more lightweight. So the weight um, really makes a difference if you use it at night because sleeping with a heavy watch or heavier watch like the GT3 Pro is not that comfortable like with the Watch Fit 2. So if you do a lot of sleep tracking, the Watch Fit 2 is really a great option because it is so lightweight, especially in the active version, which is even more lightweight. Now, as you can see down here, here are several apps installed, and this is because it now has access to the app gallery. And right over here, we have, for instance, pedal maps, so navigation. Um, you can install it on the smartwatch, so it's not installed by default, but you can just push it from the app gallery to the watch. And you also have things like calculator, so you can calculate things, and there will be more apps in the future to install on the Watch Fit 2, of course. Well, guys, as I've told you before, um, the Watch Fit 2 has a um, um, speaker so that means you can play music directly on the watch and the speaker sounds actually pretty good then also you have those guided um, workouts so I'll quickly show you how that looks like because some people ask me how do you actually use that now it's a little bit tricky um, you go here to for instance outdoor run and you press the warm-up button then as you can see right over here you have for instance those animations and let's press it so as you can see it says shoulder circles backward yeah and it, it gives you the instructions basically and also um, it gives you during the workout for instance um, the milestones um, after you run one kilometer um, it will tell you um, that um, through the watch but also if you don't want to use that you can turn it off or you can simply um, connect um, Bluetooth headphones like the Huawei FreeBuds 4, then you get all those um, notifications kind of through your headphones. All right, then what are you actually missing out on the Watch Fit 2? So let's have a closer look here at the GT3 Pro. Now, first of all, I love this navigation. It's pretty amazing. So with that, um, you can easily um, navigate here around the menu because you have so many things on the GT3 Pro. So the GT3 Pro has the LT measurement, for instance, which you can see right over here. So this is missing um, the skin body temperature is missing but to be honest this is not really something I've used a lot or basically tracked a lot. Now, now it does tracking automatically but um, I don't know what to do with that value you know um, if I'm sick I just measure my body temperature and um, my, but it's a nice to have feature though. So um, we have also some 
other things which um, you don't have on the watch fit 2 and this is right over here this is for instance here the air pressure sensor and this is especially nice if you go hiking a lot so um, it tells you basically also the altitude the air pressure so this is really cool for hiking um, you miss it out on the watch fit 2 and other than that um, from the tracking functionality, the Watch Fit 2 is a really amazing fitness tracker. You need to keep in mind the price difference. The Watch Fit 2 is really, really affordable, but still packs almost the same tracking functionality like Huawei's flagships. And this is something that is truly amazing and makes it one of the best fitness trackers if it's just around the tracking functionality, screen, and also here, for instance, that's very light and it has still really good battery life. Now let's talk about something that's really important and this is Huawei Health. So this basically the main application um, where you control your smartwatch, where you track your fitness data and um, it also works on iOS. So many people ask me does it work on an iPhone and the answer is yes because Huawei Health as you can see is available on iOS. On the left we have an iPhone 13 Pro Max, here we have um, the Huawei P50 Pocket, actually my favorite phone, it's so satisfying and um, here you can see um, the app it looks a little bit different, the features are also a little bit different and we'll talk about that just right now. Alright and also something very important to mention um, if you have an Android phone and you have Huawei Health, then you should download the latest Huawei Health um, application because in the Google Play Store, there is no update for it anymore. So um, if you open up Huawei Health, you will get a message that you can update it. So please make sure to update it to pair the new smartwatches. This is really important because with an old version of Huawei Health, you cannot pair the new smartwatches. So this is only for, um, for um, users on Android smartphones, which is not a Huawei smartphone because on iOS, um, it actually gets the updates directly directly through the App Store. So now let's check out here the first tab, which is the Health tab. Here, if you swipe down, you can actually synchronize with the smartwatches, so that's pretty easy, but it also um, automatically synchronizes. You can see here at one glance all your fitness data. You can see your exercise records, you get graphs over your continuous heart rate monitoring. Um, if you switch it to month, as you can see, um, same here on iOS. So it's basically the same on iOS and Android. So re in regards to um, the tracking functionality, the health features right over here. SpO2, um, you can see also the sleep tracking right over here you get some neat graphs then um, here we have exercises from here you can actually also start and plan exercises you have here some courses it looks a bit better on android though because you have all those nice pictures here on, on ios um yeah it's it looks a little bit different but it's essentially the same thing then um, on Android you have this Discover tab right over here, which is missing on the iOS version. Then under Devices right over here, basically here you manage your smartwatch. And there are some essential differences. First of all, on iOS, um, you cannot copy music to the Watch Fit 2. The Watch Fit 2 with Note Update will get the functionality to store up to 5,000 songs on the device, but um, you can only do that from an Android phone for now. I'm not sure if they plan in the future to change that, but anyhow, let's check out here what happens if we tap on the watch. So here you are now in the device settings and you can manage your watch. You can see here a little overview and there's the most important thing and that is watch faces. Here you can download additional watch faces and send them over to the smartwatch. Watch. So there are many nice watch faces in the store, which um, some of them are free, some of them are to pay as you can see, but um, I really like also the pre-installed watch faces. So there's no need to buy additional watch faces because the, one, the ones that Huawei includes are looking really, really amazing. Then of course, um, you have a little bit of more functionality on, on Android, as you can see on iOS, um, some things are missing, like for instance, also the Huawei wallet. All right, then let's go back. Um, and last but not least here, you have an overview over your account, um, over your achievements and stuff like that. And also here, there is third party services, which I want to show you because on iOS, it also basically um, shares the data to Apple's health app. So if you're using the Apple health app, then you can also see the data in there. So as you can see, Huawei smartwatches are also compatible with iOS, but it's different than on Android. So, well guys, um, that are basically all the differences between the Watch Fit 2 and the GT3 Pro. So if you're looking for an all around smartwatch that you can also go diving with and that you can take to classic fancy business events and stuff like that then i would choose the gt3 pro if you're looking for something that is lightweight especially also to wear during the night for sleep tracking um, that you use for your workouts then the active version of the watch fit 2 is really amazing but keep in mind 
there are also different versions like the classic and elegant version of the watch fit so and the best thing is to actually check out the links down below to the Huawei website to get an overview of the different versions because even for me as a reviewer there are so many models there are GT Runner, GT3 Pro, the Watch 3 Pro so it's a little bit difficult to um, get an overview but I really hope that this video helped to um, make you understand the differences between the Watch Fit 2 as a budget fitness tracker which comes with really amazing tracking functionalities and a high-end smartwatch like the GT3 Pro or even the Watch 3 Pro. So let me know down below in the comments which one you prefer and if you have any questions as always feel free to ask down below in the comments. As always guys I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'm signing out.